Hello and welcome to Lab Reviews. I'm Marcus J. Richardson. Carl Golder. Today we're doing Lidl's bakery. Bakery time. It's first thing in the morning, as you can probably tell. So we've decided to get some brekkie. First of all, Lidl Bakery. Golder, tell us. What do you think? Well organised pastry selection. Fresh. Fresh produce. And it's cheap. And it's cooked in store. What we've gone for is a couple of cinnamon swirl. <laughs> Bakery. And a couple of chocolate donuts. Now the cinnamon swirls are two for a quid and they are substantial. These are a pound each at Tesco's oh, and other places. Now don't put them on top of each other like that because but you will maybe lose some of the cinnamonness. They're quite thick, aren't they? Yeah. Let's have a taste, shall we? Yeah. Do we? Ah, oh, the cinnamon's on the bottom, is it? No, inside you wanker. All oh, right. Yeah. Nice, so how much do you? Two for a quid. Which is 50p each. Good maths. Thank you. Well. Oh. I mean, it tastes like what it says it is. Cinnamonish. Cinnamonish. Yeah. Is that what country it smells? Tastes good. Good value for money. Breakfast is served. We haven't finished yet. Back to back pastry. Is this a pastry? It's a. Yep. Yeah, it's it go down as a pastry. It's a doughy. If you go and get like a Krispy Kreme, you're looking at one thirty. These are twenty nine p each. Bogs. In my past experience, you can start eating golden. In my past experience. <laughs> Right. I'm just getting bored of your fucking shit. In, in my past experience, these are very good donuts. Mm, mm, mm. That's 29 p's worth without a shadow. I mean, the whole point of this is a little bakery we're reviewing. Donuts, your sweet pastries, your croissants, pan au chocolat, fresh breads, muffin tops, tiger loaves, oven bottoms, farm cakes, baps, bread rolls, all really cheap and affordable. And right when you walk in, these are good. These yeah. are good. Ebenezer good, yeah. All in all, I'm pretty happy about it. Little's Bakery, up there with what's another good bakery? Better than Greg's, I can tell you that. For their pastries, got stuff, definitely. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a better place and I can't, so. I think for supermarket bakery, hands down. Well done. Right, let's go on to the value test. So, the value test. Okay, let's start v. with V. V for the, 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 the variety. Variety is one thing that they have in abundance. Yeah, so I would, I'm gonna say choice. 10. I'm, say I'm gonna 10. give it 10, because we've not come across one similar. A, affordability. Again, for the, for the pastriness of stuff. The only way I'd, I'd not give it 10 is I've eaten cheaper pastry in other countries. Right. Well, we're in England, aren't we? I know, but let's just give it nine, because it's Okay, let's it's, give it nine. I was going to give it nine anyway, I it's think. It's not perfect, so no, we'll, we'll give it nine. Is. Lifespan, bread in it. It's bready stuff. Yeah, but... Uh, but you can I'm... freeze it. So let's give that a seven, though. It's as good as anywhere else. Those, yeah. you know, your donuts will probably last you four weeks with the shit that's in there. Usability and mm. effort. Ooh. Now, usability, it's easy to get to. The, I mean, I know you say you like to use your fingers. I'm a finger man. You're, I don't even use a bag. Your fingers, I'm Tom. I'm straight in the basket with my hand. And in fact, you're the sort of person who squishes it and if you're not happy with it, you put, put it, it back. back. Yeah. yeah, I'm the kind of guy that eats it on the way round so he yeah. doesn't pay for it at the end. Yeah, we can't condone that and pay for it at the end. Oh, we did pay for it this time. We did actually because we needed to review it. Oh, I would have eaten it. Usability of effort, what should we say? Eight? Yeah, it's, it's an eight. Downsides, there's downsides. Now, I do have a couple. Bakery what a surprise. Say, uh, if you go to the bakery, it says 7 p.m. It's fuck all there. Do you know what I mean? That's annoying. Well, I don't know what you mean, mate, because what time does it open? Well, like in the morning. Give them chance, mate. They do produce more stuff as the day goes on. I mean, every bakery's like yeah. that. You go, you know, it is one of those things, but it is a downside. So it can't well, be perfect. It we can't have perfect. a good time. And again, same thing with any open plan bakery. This is more just bakeries in general. Flies. Right. Well, they could have a little flap, couldn't yeah, they? Yeah, cut a little net thing. A flap, let, flap net, yeah. I'm not asked about a fly or two, mate. If I've not seen it... I'm going to knock that down personally, I'm going to say to a seven. Yeah, I agree with that, mate, to be fair. It could do with a, a netted flap. I reckon that's averaging it out around about eight and a half, nine for the whole thing. I you know. you're right. This is one of our biggest scores to date, and we're going to give the little bakery... Eight and a half, nearly nine out of ten. Nine out of ten! ten. Well done, Golder. I've been Marcus J. Richardson. Carlish Golderish. Pokonk. You thought I fell off? You're smoking something. <laughs> 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 <laughs>